Hey there! Hello and welcome to the technical section of Bio Pandit. This is Saurav, your very own Maha Pandit. And today I am going to talk about multiple sequence alignment. In bioinformatics, uh, sequence alignment is a way of arranging the sequences of DNA, RNA or protein to identify regions of similarity. Why do we need to identify regions of similarity? Well, let us take a look at human and zebrafish hemoglobin proteins for example. Let us perform a local alignment of these two proteins. You will find a link to the video on local alignment in the description. Now see the results. The two sequences are written horizontally and their identities and similarities are marked as vertical lines and dots respectively. In summary, the two sequences are highly similar. Across the living organisms, this rule is true. Proteins performing the same function in different organisms exhibit similar amino acid or gene sequences. And the reason we perform sequence alignments is to find out these regions of similarity. These similarities further refer to functional equivalence and evolutionary relationships between different proteins. Now what is a multiple alignment? A multiple sequence alignment is basically an alignment of more than two sequences. A pairwise alignment tells you about the similarity of two sequences. A multiple alignment tells you about the similarity among multiple sequences. In our video on local and global alignment, we showed you that there are two basic types of alignment, local and global. We also discussed about two tools, water and needle, implemented in emboss that you need or you can use to perform these two types of alignments. Local alignments aim to identify small, highly similar regions of two proteins or of two genes. On the other hand, global alignment aims end-to-end -end alignment of two sequences, reflecting overall sequence variation. Just as pairwise alignment, a multiple alignment can be a local alignment or it can be a global alignment. Global multiple alignment is more common. There are several software tools also available for this purpose. Muscle, Cluster W, T Coffee are some examples. Local multiple alignment is a bit less common and it aims to identify conserved blocks of functionally relevant regions of the protein. This is generally used to identify conserved sequence motifs. Block Maker is a tool you can use for this purpose. How do we perform a multiple alignment? Basically, there are three different methods. First one is the dynamic programming approach. This approach works fine for pairwise alignment, but dealing a multiple alignment with dynamic programming is a whole different ballgame. The possibilities are too many and so is the computational cost. Basically, it is unrealistic to turn a multiple alignment analysis into a marathon race. So, we simply do not use this method. Progressive alignment method is another one. Here, two sequences are chosen and aligned by standard pairwise alignment. This alignment is fixed. Now, a third sequence is chosen and aligned to the first alignment. This process is iterated until all sequences have been aligned. Remember guys that in this method, the first pairwise alignment is never changed. This method has different variants. Those differ in how to choose the order to do the alignment, how the progression involves inclusion of the sequences to a growing alignment, and the procedure used to align and score the alignments. The third method, iterative refinement algorithm, works similarly to progressive alignment method, but in this case, once a new sequence is added to the alignment, the initially aligned sequences are repeatedly realigned in order to obtain the best alignment. See the alignment refinement of sequence 3 after sequence 4 is added to the alignment. So let us do something by hand. We are going to use Cluster Omega standalone tool for performing a multiple alignment analysis. But first, we need some sequences. Let us use the envelope protein gene of different HIV strains for this analysis. So we go to Uniprot. Our protein name is envelope glycoprotein GP160.
and our organism is human immunodeficiency virus type 1 group M. Let us download all these sequences. Now we need our alignment program, Cluster Omega. Please download the standalone program suitable for your machine from this link, unzip the files and extract them in a folder. In the same folder, we save the protein sequences in a faster format file. This readme file includes all the necessary commands you need to know to run the program. First, we open a command window. Control plus shift plus right click. Now, this is the command to align our sequences. This is the output file. We now open this alignment file in Eugene to see how a multiple alignment looks like. There we go. See the gaps? You have your alignment. Now the question is, how does Cluster Omega generate this alignment? There are four basic steps. First, the program estimates pairwise alignments between all sequence pairs. Using these pairwise alignments, similarity matrices are derived. What is a similarity matrix? Well, it basically includes a score reflecting sequence similarity between all pairs of sequences. The scores are developed in a way that a low similarity scores generally means highly similar sequences. The next step is developing a guide tree. What is that? Basically, we start with the two most similar sequences. We put them in a group. Then, we gradually progress towards more and more dissimilar sequences and according to their measure of dissimilarity, we include them in different groups. This algorithm is called a clustering algorithm and the tree that is developed using this algorithm is called a cladogram. Once we have a guide tree, then we start making the multiple alignment. We start with the two most similar sequences to produce our first pairwise alignment. Next, according to the structure of the tree, more and more dissimilar sequences are added. And as the alignment grows, iteratively, the initial alignments are refined to achieve the optimal alignment. So, if you want to see the distance matrix that cluster omega has calculated in this case, this is your comment. It generates a file matrix dot out including your distance matrix. If you want to see the guide tree, then this is your comment. See that there is a new file tree.nwk that includes your tree. This file, this tree file can be fed into Eugene to see how it looks.